सर So we can start now. Uh, can you read? Yes, sir. Okay, so it's ready to go, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is a case on uh, calling from uh, Taiwan and this is the first time I made the speech through the network and also first time I'm using this AP admit so anyway uh, I have a I have a one hour I'd like to share with you uh, who am I uh, what I'm doing how I start uh, this uh, business and what is the uh, future the technology we are developing anyway the uh, anything everything finds and develop this company calling Fison, uh, everything we develop are related to your life. You are using every day, every minute. So let me share with you. Uh, first of all, I'd like to tell you uh, who am I. I'm, uh, I'm a Malaysian. I'm coming from a small village in Malaysia. I'm uh, studying in Taiwan. 
Okay, this is some of my personal uh, milestone. I'm I, I born in Malaysia. I when I came to Taiwan year 1993, and I'm uh, uh, study in the one of a famous university in the Taiwan, the so-called uh, Jiao Tong University. It's an NCTU. Uh, you may know that in Taiwan they have a so-called the Xinzhu Science Park, and Around 70% of the science parts company, either the founder or chairman or president or CEO or CTO, uh, come, came from the NCTO. So I'm study here, I graduate here. And I'm the uh, founder of uh, Fison since uh, 20 years ago, and I'm the uh, chairman and CEO in this uh, company's position. Uh, this is uh, to show you, I'm, uh, I'm from Malaysia, uh, which is uh, close to the capital Kuala Lumpur, and I flew to Taiwan 1983 after I graduated in the Malaysia High School, and I spent my six years in Taiwan Jiao Tong University. Then after that, I start uh, this company, so-called Fison. Okay, uh, when I start this company, I was like 26 years ago, no experience, uh, no background. And personally, I'm a, a personality. I'm a quite uh, impatient, and uh, I'm I'm engineer. I was engineer today. I I'm thinking I'm still engineer, and I'm a little bit stubborn as engineer. If you are not stubborn, I don't think you can be a good engineer. But at least uh, working hard. Uh, the first year we working when the, we start the fashion in the year 2000, we work like 20 hours a day day and night okay and i also believe personally i'm uh, really responsible uh, the company start from day one without any uh, capital no any investor trust to this company uh, we try to bring in uh, the uh, uh, supplier the customers they don't know who we are and uh, this team is so young but they trust after they work with us because we are responsible and I believe attendee today, you are most likely from the engineering background. Uh, myself, when I start this company, I'm working overclocking and also multitasking. Means in the one hour, have to uh, in charge for not only engineering, technical issue, production issue, business issue, legal issue, whatever. It's a multitasking and overclocking and. You know, if uh, you keep all clocking for many years, right? The system sometimes will hang, and I'm I'm already working for 20, uh, 20 years. So I'm I'm still young, but compared to you, I'm I'm I, I think I'm I'm old enough. But uh, again, still working very hard today. And I'm uh, running the flash memory data business, and definitely you know what's the so-called DRAM and the flash. Many years ago, my brain, my brain is a, has a good data retention. I have a good memory. But after so many years, uh, overclocking today, I think I got some problem in the memory. It means, uh, I need to keep deflating for many things. And well, this is a given and take. Uh, working so hard in the past, now I have to pay something on it. Okay, let me, again, this is uh, my personal uh, milestone. I uh, study in the, uh, my hometown, the so-called Skinchan, and I graduated in a high school, it's a Chinese high school in the Malaysia. And unfortunately, my, uh, my high school is not uh, certified by the Malaysian government, so I'm not able to study in Malaysia University. I have to go overseas then, and again, I'm from a farmer family, my father not able to uh, to uh, pay me to go to uh, US, so I had to work myself. I collect some money for myself. Then I decided to come to Taiwan just because Taiwan is uh, one of the uh, cheapest uh, in the uh, the so-called high education, and Taiwanese here is very friendly to the foreigners, and they are helping me a lot when. I'm here, I'm allowed to take my part-time job so I can able to feed myself. And uh, when I started here, I able to earn money to feed myself. So, uh, 93, I came to Taiwan and I'm going to, uh, I went to the Jiao Tong University. And uh, one of the 
I think Jiao Tong University, the position in Taiwan, like IIT in the uh, India. Most of the uh, high tech CEO founder are uh, came from this uh, university. So uh, the first two years when I was here, I was fresh. I'm uh, keep thinking if I able to graduate in Taiwan. Uh, Malaysia in the early 90s is uh, good in developing, especially in the lots of uh, industrial development. A lot of foreign foreigner uh, investor went to Malaysia to set up the factory. So I'm thinking after I graduate, I better to go back to Malaysia. I'm able to earn. My my parents told me at that time if I back to Malaysia, I'm able to earn like thousand dollars monthly salary. So and my goal is after graduate, I go back to Malaysia. But after that, I have uh, my uh, good uh, 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 score, uh, good ranking in my in, in the Chiang University class. So professor encouraged me to uh, take the master degree. So then I I asked why not. So I decided to stay two more years in the in the Chiang Tong University. And started, I have um, found a uh, professor. He decided to make a study of the so-called flash memory. The time they're calling this is solid state drive. Okay, solid state system. So, uh, I made a study. I made a lot of, uh, at that time, I, I, I stay all my time in the lab, uh, to learn, to take a lot of experiment, to develop the, uh, firmware, the circuit, the PCB board. So my professor decided to make a start by himself. Then I'd be the part-time, uh, 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 workers. After I graduated 1999, I worked at that company for nine months. Then for so many reasons, I think I'm difficult to tell you this many, the four hours. So for many, many reasons. So I found the Fison, this company when I was uh, 26, or, uh, 26 years old with my four partners. So this pronoun pronounce is a uh, Fison. Okay. The, the, the five from the fifth six. I named this as a five person. So we take the five son. So means five person. And we start this company, uh, from the basement. And these five members have a uh, two Malaysians, one mechanist and the two Taiwanese. Most likely four of us are from the Jiao Tong University. And we start this, uh, our company as a startup in the basement of uh, E3. You may know about it. You don't know. You go. You can go to search the, uh, the from Google. Uh, TSMC, born from the E3. UMC, born from the E3. Winbong, born from E3. So in Taiwan Science Park, a lot of a semiconductor company actually they are been uh, uh, trained by the E3. So this is you can say is a pioneer in the in the in the Taiwan industry. And we made a start in there. They have a so called incubator. So we stayed there for around two years. And the first capital, unfortunately, these five people all from poor family. We are not able to, my parents, the parents not able to support us any investment. So we, five of us, we go to borrow and uh, luckily we have uh, some angel investment. So the first start, we call it the one million US dollars at the year 2000 November. And we start up from the company Fison. And we named this company is a IC design house, but design house with just only one million US dollars. And unfortunately, nobody believed, nobody, even my, 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 my junior, my senior, my friend, nobody believed this company is able to survive because just only one million dollars. And the good thing is, uh, by the way, these five people will not have a, uh, Good background. We don't have a backup. We don't have a support. We know any relationship. We don't have any working experience. So we start from totally nothing. But the good thing is by the 2001 May, we announced the first, the USB drive single chip solution. And I named this is a pen drive. And pen drive today still the trademark of pen drive is owned by the Pfizer, this company. India, many, many, many years ago, a lot of, uh, uh, I don't know who they are, trader or module house, they built a drive, they named this as a pen drive, they put a logo as a pen drive, but what I can share with you, they didn't talk to us, but again, I have no interest to bring, bring them to the court, not necessary, but again, pen drive is, uh, 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 this name, 
I, I, I'm not talking about invent, but we developed this uh, USB drive with the SOC and we start everything from this uh, USB drive. So today you use any whatever the USB drive. What I can say by 2001, we are the first guy made this into the SOC. So we start from a uh, USB drive and the company by 2000 November we found that and the May we have a first USB SOC and after three months we got the one order 2000 piece 2000 piece of a 120 megabyte drive from the company called Fujitsu Siemens from the Europe they give us the 2000 piece then this company just break even in the monthly and after two more months the total investment one million dollars we burn out like 70 percent and after this uh, 2000 October all my cash on hand company equity back to $1 million. So the whole years we are taking the break event from startup. And Fison also break a record in Taiwan. Uh, we went to IPO by 2004 December. So from startup to, to the IPO, we took 48 months. In Taiwan, this is a record. Without parents, without any big company as a shareholders, we make it. We make it just because I believe uh, we are lucky. Uh, when the day, year 2000, we decide to start this company with a USB drive business, the time the drive itself start with a 16 megabyte, then went to the 120 megabyte. And looks like today, if you have a USB drive on hand, definitely there can be the 16 gigabyte. We are selling like two, two terabyte of a USB drive in the market. So we are in the good trend. And this company start from five people and these good things are these five all engineers. We're working hard. We have a logic. Uh, we, we, we know experience, but we working hard. We learn a lot of know-how and we humble. Uh, we don't know how to build a business. We don't have any, uh, salespeople join this company. We do everything by ourselves, but we humble. So we earn a lot of trust from the people in the market. And I can share one story with you. Uh, at the 2001 May, when we developed this uh, first UFC drive, I believe this will be the next trend. At that time, the memory card was uh, Compact Flash and Smart Media. Compact Flash owned by the SanDisk. I believe USB drive one day will beat Compact Flash. But, and I also learned that in the US, like you know, company called SanDisk to their stability. They own a lot of uh, patents. Not only that, a company called Lexa Media, a company called M System, they claim they have a lot of patents. And I believe when USB drive become the mainstream in the market, if we are doing good, definitely we will be sued by either one. So during the time July, I asked one of my friends to bring a USB drive to a famous people, Sanchez. He's a SanDisk uh, was a CEO. Now it's a Micron CEO. One of my friends bought the USB drive named as a pen drive to Sanjay, tried to ask SanDisk to co-work with Python. If they're able to invest, we can be partner. I just know one they sue us when we get the business. But unfortunately, SanDisk thinking that time, Compact Flash is much better than USB drive. So they decide not to touch. By 2002, April, I'm uh, successful to invite Toshiba to invest to this company. And the comp another company called M System, who claim they have a patent. M System at the 2006 acquired by Sandisk. So they disappear. So I learned the time when I must start to be a key player, I would get sued. But the time if I'm small, I got a two big umbrella to support me. There is a call to ship by M systems. But again, 2007, when the, mar the market getting mature, SanDisk sued the 36 company in one day. Of course, we are one of the 36. But anyway, the time fashion already IPO, we have uh, finance, we have a uh, lot of uh, resources. Then we, uh, uh, of course, we fight back. At the end, peace, nothing happened. Faisal able to grow our company. So this is a story at the 18 years ago. So this is Faisal's milestone. Uh, year 2000, I started this company. 2004, we IPO. 
2008, we launched the so-called industrial NAND solution, mainly for the industrial market. And uh, 2010, we are uh, ranked by the uh, business work, uh, business week. We got some uh, award, and then we grow, grow this company rapidly. We ship like 600 million pieces in, in in a year. Then we we also develop the so-called micro SSD design in the server. Then we have an EMC in the group business. I think later I would like to share with you about the ecosystem of AMD, the, the, the story about the Gen 4 by 4 for the uh, high-end the, uh, SSD drive. So this to show you, uh, the year we start company was the 2000 November. 2001, this company, the revenue around $4 million. You can see the business growth so rapidly just because again, we are in the name flash business. Name flash growth every day. Uh, we only uh, 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 suffer the business uh, declining in the 2008 because of the internet bubble. So we hit the uh, uh, final million in the first seven years, one billion in the first 10 years, but unfortunately we have been in the 1.1 for five years, 1.3, 1.4 for the other five years. Uh, the reason is the name itself, the, the, the gigabyte use Per, per device is increasing, but the ASP, the selling price, are declining. This also is a is a driving the user to use a more higher gigabyte in the device. So this is to just to tell you, Fison from five people day one with just a USB, we are able to grow rapidly, just because we are in the in in the right market in the right business. On the other hand, we also we are working so hard and we are working very smart to learn how to survive in this uh, business. So I think attendee today, if you are a student, uh, means you are young, 18, 20, 22 years old, you may not know or you may not see about this called the 40 disc. Okay. The When I was a student, uh, I need to go to present my paper. I need to uh, compress my my paper to the 10 piece of four pieces because this is like 10 megabyte of my my top my 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 file. But after that, you know, since the year 2005, the optical drive start to getting the the popular. A lot of uh, illegal MP3 video are you know uh, a copy into this drive. This. I think it's getting less in the, in, in your life. And hard drive, yes, I think you definitely you know hard drive. When I was in the Chiao Tong University, my first uh, personal computer using the 40 megabyte, 40 megabyte hard drive cost me $150. Okay. Today, your, if you, if you still use hard drive, your hard drive definitely 512 and one terabyte or two terabyte. But now in this world, every kind of the electronic systems. Definitely, they put the name inside the systems. If the electronic device, they claim they're able to connect to internet, they claim this is called the uh, intelligent, they claim this is IoT, they all need the name flash. Every different kind of interface, different kind of application, but at the end is a name flash. Today, we use uh, this AMIT, uh, AP, now we talk here, and this server, the server we use a lot of uh, SSD drive in the device. Okay, so Fison, we are in the name flash industrial. We develop the controllers, we develop the uh, firmware, the PCB, everything, the systems, we just put the name into our systems, then build every different kind of a NAND storage. That's what I can share with you. Okay, we we start from the so-called USB drive, but today USB is kind of a legacy. It's so cheap. After the USB, we have a so-called SD card and a micro SD. We are the first third party developed the first EMMC controller in the market by 2009. Then this EMC built to the uh, uh, smartphone. We built to the uh, uh, automotive. One thing you may not know, Fison, our storage for the automotive, the market share is uh, number one in the world. 
okay our market share i think we believe we are over 40 percent okay every car if they need the uh, storage potentially if i said we have a, a, over 40 plus percent including wow. india okay then after emc we move ourselves into the so-called ssd ssd starting from the sata then we go to the uh, pci gen 3 pci gen 4. today Fison is the company in the world we cover most of the nameplate interface products even samsung i think Fison we have a much better uh application than the samsung we are small but we have a uh, more application okay so this is to tell you uh to show to we from usb sd emc then we go to the ufs sata and pci now we also we also start go to the uh, data center business okay the the products we develop we use a lot in the consumer market especially in the camera market if you are the heavy camera play the the the, the user uh sony they have a proprietary memory card are uh, designed by Fison. we are the sole suppliers okay a lot of a uh, kind of a customized customization design in the storage Fison provide the service and our products now start to uh, penetrate to the uh, enterprise and for embedded every kind of uh, industrial machine robot the surveillance automotive uh transportation high-speed train, the airplane, Fison, we also have a different kind of storage designed in and shipped to these products. Here, I want to show you a story. Uh, AMD, this company, AMD, three years ago, three years, 2017, this company almost bankrupt. But now, they are, they are like, you know, in the sky. They are uh, market value, uh growth a lot in this uh 12 months just because they they won a lot of uh, design win in the cpu market by the tsmc seven nanometers process by 2018 actually starting from 2017 amd decided to go to as a fedex company they engage with the tsmc they decide to migrate to the seven nanometer to develop their own cpu because uh, this is uh, much advanced than the Intel, so they decide to take the interface, the, the, the high speed interface, they decide to go to the PCI Gen 4. But Intel is a pioneer in the PC market, in the, in the CPU market. Intel announced after Gen 3, they are going to skip Gen 4. They know how to take Gen 4. They want to make the direct jump to the Gen 5. So when AMD decide to go to the Gen 4, but Intel said no more Gen 4. By 2017-18, who are you going to listen? 100% of the player, the storage player, decide to follow Intel. Skip Gen 4. No Gen 4, only Gen 5. So when AMD decided to go to this system, they found that not any ecosystem are willing to work with the AMD to develop the Gen 4 SSD controllers. They went to the, those uh, NAND manufacturers. They said no, no interest. They went to the US, the key player in the data, uh, in the controller data storage solution player. They said no. So by 2018 August, there is a so-called event flash memory submit in the uh, San Jose. I went there every year. AMD invite me to have a one hour meeting in their San Jose office. They try to ask Fison to develop a SOC to support the Gen 4 ecosystem in the SSD. Uh, but I, I, I bring this to my uh, back to Taiwan when I talk to my partners, my uh, the the R&D departments, all the, the the directors. Not anyone decide to support this project just because they think the AMD is a too small in the CPU market. If we make it, AMD just like few percent but we need to make the, the huge investment but by that time i explained to my partners that this is our opportunity it's an opportunity to find something we developed so many ips in-house but we never proven and we never showed to the all the tier one we we are capable but if amd agreed to support us 
we can, if we if we success, we can show our capability to uh, those uh, tier one players. Because before 2018, we went to all the tier one like Intel, Google, Amazon, Facebook, whatever, all the big one, they ask who is Pfizer. They don't know who is Pfizer. So we take this opportunity, we take this program, but unfortunately that time, we only have an IP ready. The IP means all the hard, uh, the, 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 the hard market is ready, but we need time to integrate all the IP and test it and go to build to the silicon chip. And the us, they want to show the Gen 4, the SSD drive by 2019, January in the Las Vegas CES. Means from August to January, actually it's December, right? We got only four months. Four months to build, integrate our IP into the chips, into the silicon, not APGA, not APGA. We try to convince to AMD why not just APGA, they said no. They want to make the uh, attendee in the CS surprise. So once we decide to take this uh, program, all the files and key designer, all the engineers, we work 24 hours from uh, end of August. And we make it the silicon as a drive to let the AMD demo this in the uh, January 5th of uh, 2019 in the Las Vegas. That was a uh, four days uh, a show, the event. AMD got so much, so many positive feedback from the, those uh, PC, his, uh, their, their, their customers. So they came back to me again, they asked, is that possible Fison made this Gen 4 drive is 12, not a chip, it's a 12. With a one terabyte and two terabyte to be shipped by 2019 July. When AMD launched their CPU so-called Ryzen 7 nanometers announced launch by July 7th because of seven nanometers. And they asked 200,000 pieces of Gen 4 drive with a one terabyte, two terabyte has to be ready in Amazon, in Jingdong, in whatever the retailers. This, if I'm telling you, this is so-called mission impossible. So we made the chips in purpose just for demo in four months, but the chips itself, so many bugs, just only can demo, not able to ship, still many, many things we need to uh, uh, implement, and we have to debug. But we take this program again. We tap up the chips in three months. We made a risk run. We buy a lot of a name fresh memory. We risk run a PCB, everything in risk. If we fail, we fail. That can be like $20 million material we have to write off. $20 million. We take it. We make it. 2019, July 7th, this drive launching in the market, AMD happy, we are happy. Today, all the tier one players, no matter in the data center or PC system, tablet, the smartphone, they, they know Pfizer, but unfortunately some of them, I don't know who they are. Now, after this launching, we got so many project inquiry from the, those uh, uh, system makers. So this is a nine month story I want to share with you. When I talk about this before, before we, we, we prove this, nobody believe Pfizer we are capable to make it. But again, you can talk to whatever the San Jose or the kind of a, 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 a genius. Are they able to make the chips to MP by nine months? What they can tell you is it's difficult and potentially this is a mission impossible. But again, we make it just because of this. I want to show you the other two pages, but just keep in your eyes. Okay, oh sorry, this is a okay, this is a chips in nine months. And this is drive. We ship by the July 7th. And this chip still by 2019, Pfizer is the only Gen 4 supplier in the market. We are the only one. And we are in the in the good uh, dealing position than any other competitors. And the CPU Ryzen. 
uh, helping AMD to grow the market share to gain the business. And now, you know, read from news, uh, they are going to uh, uh, acquire the Xilinx. So they are good. And by the way, we also good. And this program, Fison total invests $25 million, total $25 million in R&D. But good thing is because of a business model, we already earned back all the investment and we still have a good uh, return in this business. Now we are, uh, after this uh, success, we also develop few more the Gen4 controllers. Now we are in a good position. Fison, we are not able to say anything about this. But this is the tear down from the website. Uh, this just launched. Uh, I, I, I remember it was on November 9th uh, last year, uh, means uh, two months ago. And the tear down show this is a solution. It is. Okay. And if you take the uh, drive, uh, the, the, this uh, console, they have an external card and external card they also show this logo so we are good in the pci gen4 business and we are no small guy anymore we are in the leading positions this also is a uh, now shortage in the asia and with uh, this uh, console they have uh, external storage and to show you is uh, this logo actually this is a Python. Okay, I just want to tell you, uh, as a, when I was an engineer, I always don't believe we can make it. When I run this business, when MD asks, four months, I think impossible, but we make it. So trust that if you want to make it, if you want to make it, you have a resources, you work smart, potentially you able, you potentially you can make it. Okay. Fison start 20 years ago. We just have our 20 years anniversary two months ago. So, uh, from five people, one million US dollars. Today, this company, we have uh, over 20 plus year working experience in the name based industry. We have uh, 20 high hand headcounts in this company. Overall, 75% engineers. We just uh, set up our Colorado Army Center in uh august so we have around 20 very high talent engineers in the colorado worldwide we today we have uh, more than 2000 patents many in the us and we focus to the name fresh application which including include the consumer embedded and also the enterprise uh, i believe in the coming five years embedded enterprise will help us and grow the business I show you just now, Fison this year, we are around, uh, already show 1.4 B uh, in the US dollars revenue up to Q3. So I believe this year we are able to go to 1.6, uh, 1.8 to 1.9 B. And with the new business embedded and enterprise, we, I for sure next year will be 2, 2 billion. And the goal is go to 4 billion within a few years. Okay. And we keep investing high R&D investment into this industrial. Uh, by year 2020, the R&D expense is uh, $240 million. Means we're injecting a lot of money into the R&D activity. This is helping us Fison, to be in the leading position. So, where is the Fison products? Actually, Fison, we are doing the ODM business. We didn't put the name, put the brand on our products, even the controllers. We ship a lot of controllers to our customers with their logo, no fashion logo. So we are in the ODM business. You are not able to see any products in the market with a fashion logo, but a lot of a product actually designed and produced by fashion. Okay. I believe you agree the name flash already penetrated to every kind of uh, electronic systems, every kind. So every kind of system, they need a name for it. So you can know how big of uh, this uh, potential. So surveillance, uh, before was using tap, uh, then using hard drive. Now a lot of a uh, smart device that claim is uh, with AI, they use a lot of a uh, name flash. 
we are shipping the one terabyte of SD card to one of our US key customers. We also putting our SSD into a lot of backup systems in the in the in the Japan. And again, I believe today the student and when the time uh, poor student, we can only use the knot, the the paper knot. Okay, and then the time when I was student, my roommate they have a good parents. They have their own desktop. They can play game on the desktop. But today, when I went went to the the university to make a speech, I can see fifty percent of students bring their own notebooks. So if you have a notebooks with a hard drive, I don't think you have a patience on the, on, on 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 your systems. Most likely, you already already use the SSD. Then you can compare what kind of efficiency SSD versus hard drive. When you use SSD in your life, you will never back to hard drive anymore. So look to the, the a lot of uh, uh, research analyst report. The notebook, laptop, hard drive, uh, the SSD attachment is going to be 80% by next year. Okay, means laptop is going to be SSD and 40% of a desktop, the C drive, also start to use SSD because they are good in the performance. Uh, if you in the your 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 university office, they may have a so-called MFP multifunctional uh, uh, printer. Fresen, we are the biggest supplier of SSD into this printer with a different kind of form factors. Can be EMC, can be memory card, can be SATA drive, also can be the PCI drive. We customize a lot of a different drive for this kind of a machine. You are not able to take a drive from the retailer. The efficiency will be worse. Every of a drive we making customers, we optimize our firmware based on their horse behavior. So every design are customers. This is just take an example, you know, not school bus. Actually, every automotive, every car, if they have a, a, a GPS, then they need a map. Map need to store in storage. Many years ago, they used a CD drive, but most likely today, everything used either EMC or SD card. For example, we have a more than 40 plus percent of EMC market share in the world. India, a lot of car actually, the storage is coming from Pfizer. Now, Pfizer invests into the autonomous, or you can say it's a self-driving. Self-driving car is a big server. Today, the, the, the car which in, 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 uh, on the road, there is like this. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that this is a low capacity. They use only like 8 gigabyte for map, 16 gigabyte for surveillance, drive recorder. With the high end model like Benz, potentially they can be 64 gigabyte. But if you go to the self drive car, they may need a terabyte. And this is a big market. We are developing the server grade of SSD for coming self-driving self car. This is big investment. And I believe by 2023, we we able to ship the products to the market and we are already ongoing under the development. And camera, you you use a camera, a lot of high-end camera today. Sony announced the call the CF, CFX Type A. Is a sole supply from uh, Fison. The the XQ card they, they have the other form factor called XQ card also hundred percent designed by Fison, produced by Fison. And smartphone, I think you're familiar about this, so I don't want to mention. Okay. So many years ago, a lot of uh, lecturer government keep saying the called IoT IoT. So what is IoT? As engineers. I've been trying try to uh, define what is the so-called the things we are going to discuss. I define the IoT actually is IoT combined by sensor. Okay, a lot of sensor sensor you know they're key player. IoT they need the connectivity, so this is key player. IoT they need computings. Uh, you you know all familiar. You when you read this, I think as a 
uh, IIT student, you definitely know who is ST, who is a Tesla, who is a Vanessa, right? who is a Micron. You know, now they have got a lot of uh, uh, lab in the, in the, in the India. Definitely, you know, Intel, you know, SK. Uh, connectivity, Broadcom, uh, Qualcomm, Indicate, you know, but the company, this company, you may, you may not know, okay? IoT, every IoT, they need storage. And again, all the big guy here, but Pfizer, we play our role. We develop different kind of uh, customization controllers to support the IoT ecosystem. So Pfizer, we are the key player. From day one, when I start this company, I don't know when this company is going to claim bankruptcy. Seriously, I don't believe even myself, I don't believe this, this company able to survive. But today this company market cap already like two point something B. Potentially, I think uh, with the growth in the name phase market, and now we have uh, in Taiwan, we have uh, around uh, 1,500 of, of engineers. Next year, one more year, we may able to increase to 2,000 engineers. Uh, I'm going to dispatch my, uh, okay, in my office, we have a few Indian engineers who who been work or study in Taiwan. We We take them to company, we train them, Next week, I'm going to send one of uh, my uh, Indian uh, uh, colleague back to the, uh, uh, I think it's a bungalow, to start to work and to set up an office in there. The reason is we got so many projects from our customers and they also have activity in uh, India. So I believe in few years, we are also going to uh, develop our office we are going to train engineers there. We are going to have a project developed by the India office. And I believe this is a five years investment. I start my China R&D uh, uh, lab since uh, 2015. And that company looks like able to go IPO after two years. I learned a lot how to build the office in other country, how to train engineers there. And India is my next, my next goal. So I hope, I hope we can do something there to, I believe uh, India is a, a big growing market and I believe uh, so many talent. And I already can see like, you know, WD Micron has a lot of lab in the India and Toshiba before. We also have a partner. Uh, we, we design chip for Toshiba, but also uh, testing in the India. So we are going to do something there. So anyway, Fisons, our design inside every way, every electronic systems, but you may not know who we are. Today, after this talk, you, you start to familiar who we are. We are, we believe we are potential and, uh, I'm still working like as engineers. Okay. Keep investing, keep talking to engineers, keep talking to my partners, to my customers, to my supplier, try to invest more and to build more solutions for this uh, world to make everything perfect. Okay, so for instance, we develop a chip by ourselves, every IP, okay, I repeat again, every IP except the CPU, CPU we license from ARM, from Tensilica, from Arc, beside of a CPU, Everything in house, the high speed interface, analog, multi signal, digital, integration, layout, thermal, EMI, everything in house. Okay. We are one of few company in Taiwan able to do everything in house. So again, 20 years ago, I don't believe we can make it, but now we are making it. And we also made a huge investment into the lab. Uh, the chip design company today is not able to start with a small capital. One million dollars, no way. One million dollars may only, only can help me to uh, sustain for three days. You can see we have uh, more than 10,000 pieces of systems in the lab. This just only the some portion. We still have a lot of uh, confidential system we are not able to show to you. Okay. So just only to test. I only test the, the, the systems. We have more than 10,000 pieces. So you can imagine how much we invest. 
okay so uh we still have uh, like 15 minutes if you don't mind we can go to the q and section uh 10 years ago i invited by one of magazines in taiwan asked me to uh, write a story how this company from uh, day one th uh, this is uh, published by 2011 and saying how to build the company to 1 billion within 10 years so this book i have an english version so if you think this can be good i can ask my people to uh, send few copy to a library if you think this is good okay so we still have like 15 minutes if you like we can go to the q a anything you ask i'm happy to uh, to answer to you hello yes sir yeah. uh, sir we have two questions in our chat section and yeah let me see okay okay i'm uh, i'm not familiar about this uh, now i'm reading uh anyone who think about doing stuff has confidence to their idea so they tend to think irrational about the idea which can be a problem afterwards uh, uh, okay to build a startup, I think today the, uh, every country, every government uh, encourage the young uh, teenage go to build a startup. But again, to build a startup, you need to uh, consider about your your how to raise the capital, how to get your partner, and how to make the right products. Uh, I talked to the government, the town government here. They have a thousand or thousand the, the, the start in this uh, 10 years but only like point something percent only few of a company able to grow so this is not easy okay this is not easy and i don't think i'm able to answer this question by few minutes uh the most simple thing is uh, the book i <laughs> give to somebody there put to the library you read it then you 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 can learn more about it learn more about how Faison will build this company they have a lot, a lot of difficulty every day. Okay, you need to learn how to solve it. You need to have a high EQ. Of course, IQ, but you need a more high EQ. Okay. So this is uh, the question here. Then, what will be the update version of USB drive, and when it will be launching? USB drive just a USB drive. So I don't think they got anything called update. Yeah. Uh, I start with the USB 1.1 the 19 years ago. Now after that we go to 2.0. Now they got 3.0. Then they upgrade to 3.1, 3.2. But again, I believe a USB as a consumer products, right? User always asking for cheapest products, cheaper in the price. So I don't believe a USB can go to the so kind the the, the high speed interface. But we more care about the embedded. We care more about embedded. So, uh, we actually something I want to to surprise you. For example, I have a fifteen hundred of engineers. So, how many stay in the USB development? I can tell you, twenty. Today, just twenty, because the USB becomes a legacy product. But in SSD, we have a thousand of engineers in the SSD development so i think usb is there is a legacy okay so i read the two questions here i hopefully i think i'm answer your questions yes sir that's all and uh thank you sir for your value valuable time and we are grateful you joined us and share your experience of life and yeah thank you, sir okay yeah. So my I, I believe my colleague uh, my colleague so not uh, contact with you right so if you think it's good to have a few books I can deliver the books to him he can carry back to India and send to your library. Yes sir sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So any other questions? Uh, I think no sir. Okay. Yeah. If think no, I think we can end up here right? Yes sir we can. Okay. End. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye, sir.